Hi my beautiful family and welcome to my video. Well, it's been over a week since I filmed and it's because I've been um, having a lot of things to do at work and I've been tired and I had some health issues, but I'm here back filming the other two videos that were on my channel all pre-filmed. But I thought that I would do my base everything, just, you know, talking with you today, trying some new products or not really trying, I've been using them for a couple of days, but I want to give you my full thoughts about that because it's this is not a first impression video, it's a video where I've been trying a couple of products and I want to talk about them. So, it's not clean, it's my fingerprints everywhere, it's just um, proof that I've been using this a lot. This is the new Natasha Denona Zendo palette now. Uh, first, when I saw the shades, I thought, well, I do have these shades probably in other palettes. and um, But there was something about this palette that got caught my eye that made me very interested and wanted to purchase it. Two palettes that I really love and been using from Natasha Denona is this Frio Chrome palette that I love and also Safari. I have other palettes, but this is like my holy grail <laughs> that I've been using a lot. And I have to say that I don't regret at all buying this palette. This is a beautiful palette, but I'll talk about it more in this channel, on the, no, in this video. And I also have been using the new Puff Paint Liquid Blush from Natasha Denona. Tan. It's tan. Doesn't say on the packaging though. Nope, doesn't say on this packaging that it's a shade tan, which is kind of a bummer. But and I also want to try the, what's called, the Linda Halber Blotting Powder. And I forgot how to talk. Let's go in this, in this video. So, I'm going to use my skincare. I've been cleaning my face with this uh, with makeup remover pads. This is the from Brushworks. These are amazing. They're kind of thicker and also firm, which is a surprise. I thought that I wouldn't like them, but they clean my face beautifully. And I do do really like this, so I do recommend them. They're, they're very easy to use, so I do like them. I'm cleaning my face with those and also other two cleansing products that I'm going to talk about in another video. But let's go with the base. First, I always go in with this product now. This I've been using for a couple of weeks. This is the Fenty Beauty Skin Fat Water and it's pore refining toner serum. Now, I don't like the packaging. I don't like this thing here. It's, it sounds practical, but I don't like that this cap gets dirty and I just don't like the packaging. But I've been liking this Fat Water. I mean, I haven't seen any changes in my face or on my skin and I haven't seen like like it does something but it's not breaking me out it's not making me you know that doesn't clog my pores so I've been using it but I don't know if you can see there is some residue I don't just don't like this packaging though it's not my favorite then uh, for a couple of days I've been using the ordinary Nio Niomite, can't pronounce it. I will link everything down below. And one thing I've been very bad at, it's I'm actually linking, listing down below in the description box the products that I've been using. And I always promise I will do that, but for some reason I prefer film and then I forget what I'll be using and I edit my videos and I forget to, uh, it takes a couple of hours for the videos to be uploaded on YouTube and then I go do something else during that time and I forget. Sorry guys, I do forget. I'm, I know I'm not a great YouTuber when it comes to that, but I promise being much better. I've been using this product for a couple of days and I've been liking it. I mean, I did break out here on my chin, it hurts a lot, but I don't think it's this product though. I've been, like I said, having issues uh, health issues and uh, taking antibiotics and when I do take antibiotics they kind of miss make my stomach really bad and it breaks me out so I think it's because of the antibiotics I've been taking for a couple of days 
but it hurts and it goes into the skin very fast. I like that. Then I've been also going in, I'm almost used up. This is the Avant Hyaluron Sweet Almond Seawater Shea Butter Age Defy Ultimate Hydrating Acid Refreshing Duo Moisturizer. Oh my god, that's, I don't know if you can see, it's too bright in here. No, that's a lot too. There you go. I do like this moisturizer though. It doesn't make any big difference on my, in my skin. It's a good face cream. Uh, it's moisturizing. But I can't say like that I see any changes in my skin. But I do like it though. So while this is sitting, I'm going to go in with my um, new Hydra Face Intense Eye Cream. I can't pronounce this either. This eye cream. Now. I read in the newspaper that this is one of the best eye creams ever that's affordable but it does like make your under eye look much healthier and it like smooths the skin down there and hydrates and make the appearance of the lines less visible. I don't know, promise a lot. But my under eye has been looking very strange and I don't think I like this. <laughs> eye cream but I still continue using it I want to see what the hype is about but I don't think my under eye really like it and I've been using this skin label eyelid lifting serum I haven't been consistent with it so why is my camera not really it's too bright in here sorry guys I've been using this and I can't see any big changes but it doesn't make my eyeshadow stay less on my eyes. I've been scared that when I use this product and I have very oily eyelids and I've been having a hard time to keep my eyeshadow stay in place, I've been scared that this is going to make me more oily and it's going to crease and it's going to destroy my eye makeup, but that's not the case. This doesn't affect my primer or eyeshadow at all. And then you see I have a lot of discoloration on my eyes. A lot of discoloration on the, my eyes, especially here. I don't know if you can see. And I think that I think it has to do with this product. This is the new Sweet Pro Eyelash Grow Serum, and I've uh, been uh, noticing these kind of changes. I know if I'm allergic or something. Um, I don't know. Could be. I think it's that, but I'm not really sure. Then I'm going to go in in with this Esther Pro. Tropez Self Tan Purify. This is a natural glowing, natural glowing skin face face mist. Smells really good, and I got it all over my skin too. Well, tap that, and then I'm going to go in with this. <laughs> This is the Peter Thomas Ruth Max Matte Shine Control Sunscreen. And guys, this is my new favorite sunscreen for the face. If you have combination skin and you have oily skin and you want sunscreen, face cream that won't make you more, more oily, won't look, be heavy on your face, it won't break you out, this is a very good product. I've been loving this a lot. I take this kind of amount. And it does, you know, smell like sunscreen but it doesn't spray on that on the face like that so i've been liking this a lot and it doesn't affect my makeup or anything on my skin while this is sitting i'm going to go in with a eyeshadow primer uh, i've been trying out the urban decay eyeshadow prime potion anti-age now i've been using the original for a long time and i do like it i've been trying this and uh, it's a good one. I did see that my eyeshadow faded during the day on my eyes and I don't know if it has to do with the eyeshadow primer or if it has to do with the eyeshadows. I do go in and set my eyeshadow base. I'm sorry guys. I know maybe you should not do that if you want the eyeshadow to be more intense or anything but I see when I don't do that I see that my eyeshadow creases. 
so I do need to set and I go with the so let's go in with the eyeshadows I'm going to go and create a very fast easy makeup look I won't do anything you know uh, new and exciting and zeal this shade here I was thinking about going in with another shade this shade here breath or breathe this green here um, that's a very new formula that's kind of like powdery cream but it really works very very nice this is looking a little bit patchy but we are going to build it up and fix it I know I go in heavy but trust the process so I've been liking this palette a lot and it's one of my new favorite palettes from Natasha Denona and I don't know what it is about this color but colors in this palette but they are blending very nice and I just like how everything looks on my face so I'm going to take a smaller brush just I have like small uh, face lines or small small lines wrinkles here and they're kind of hard to hide this is this looks crazy i know but it's going to look then i'm going to go in with this green shade here with a smaller brush and i'm going to this is a very exciting texture of the eyeshadow and i want to build it up here yes And this has like a satin finish to it. This is another brush that I don't know the brand of. It's kind of a more fluffy but still small flat brush. And I want to go in in this shade. I won't even try to pronounce it. This shade here. And um, I just want to do like a halo eye, a deep up the end, end here. And I usually I go in with matte eyeshadows when I'm doing Hello Eye, but I want to do something that's outside my comfort zone. And I've been watching Natasha Denona doing that with her models a lot, and it looks stunning. And it's exactly what I want to do. Go outside my comfort zone. I'm going to go in with the Flow, this shade here. This one I haven't used yet. So let's see, I do want to pop it. Oh, this is cute. Oh my God, I love that. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love how this looks. And I'm just using the brush. I've been trying out the Jaclyn Hill under eye primer and <laughs> It feels very nice applying it under the eyes and but I don't know guys I feel like it I feel like it's not working I feel like it's make setting me into my fine lines it exaggerates my under eyes uh, or lines my under my eyes and it makes my powder set funny and crease I don't know I just Feel like it's not really doing what I thought it would do and I'm kind of disappointed I mean trying it a lot and I've been trying the powders too from Jaclyn Hill and our powders I've been liking but I don't know it's something with this primer that doesn't really sit the video when I review these products I've been used I used the primer and the powders and I said in that video that I'm going to try the product separately and see if it's the because it looked kind of funny it creased and it's set powder settled into the lines and it exaggerated exaggerated my under lines under my eyes because wrinkles I have plenty of those and I know I'm not going to look like a Barbie doll I'm not stupid but I don't want to look even more old you know old and tired and dry under my eyes I used those powders the palette and the loose powder daily when I went to work and it didn't look bad it looked good 
but I tried the um, the primer on eye primer with other powders and concealers and oh my god it didn't look good so I think it's the uh, it's the under eye primer that it's not working but I still continue using it because it feels so good under my eyes which is crazy I know I'm crazy but I bought it I just use it so I'm going to use my primer face primer and for that yeah I'm going to use up this I love this one and it's my holy one of the best I primers I've been using a lot it smooths it looks really good but I need to use it up before it goes bad because I have plenty of eyeshadow not eyeshadow but primers then we are going to go with the foundation and for the foundation today I am going to use She Glam yes she Glam, that's what we are going to do today. I tried the Fenty Beauty, you know, the Huda Beauty again. The Huda Beauty foundation didn't look good at all. I'm going to use the sponge. And I've been liking this foundation a lot. It's really, really good. I'm using the Cash Beauty sponge, which is a very nice soft sponge. I really like this foundation. It looks good on my skin. It doesn't break or se separates during the day when I use it. My oils do, do come through. That's why I bought the Linda Halberg powder to try out. I think my sister tried it too. She didn't really like this foundation, which is kind of interesting. We almost have the same skin texture or she also has the combination that oils gave. But for her, it didn't really work. Look at this. I forgot to... Yeah, well, let's try it. I need to go in with my NARS concealer and kind of hide these, these pimples. Try to hide them a little bit. I'm going to use the NARS concealer. Yes, I repurchased this one. I talked about this last year and this was my favorite concealer and I repurchased it and I'm almost out of it again. But I do have plenty of concealers, but for some reason there was sale on uh, Swedish Kicks website and I couldn't, you know. And I also had like a coupon for 25% off. I couldn't resist and not buy this. This is the new shade Vanilla. It's one of the best concealers. So I'm going to go in with Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to mix these two first shade up here and just set under the eyes because I'm going to use cream product but I don't want my concealer to crease. So, I'm going to go in and show you guys. I'm going to go in with this Natasha Dona Puff Paint blush. And I've been using it with a sponge. And uh, let me show you. And I do like it with a sponge, but she uses fingers. And let's go with the fingers today. It lasts the old day, too. I really like this blush. I bought this shade because... Uh, I don't have this shade in my black blush collection and it looked very interesting and I wanted something that looks like that or reminds me of that Birds and, Birds and Bees, I think the cin Cinnamon, something like that. I don't remember the name but there is a blush that I can't purchase here in Sweden, Bur uh, Birds and Bees, I think it's called. Maybe I butchered the name of that brand but we don't have their, their makeup here in Sweden, so I couldn't purchase that blush, but it kind of looked like this roasty brown nude shade and look, blended beautifully. It blends also very nice with a sponge, but you get less, uh, less pigment. You pay over $30 for this product. You, you only get, how much do you get here? Seven milliliters. You get just a little bit of the product for that high price which kind of is a little bit too expensive it's very good blush it glasses all day but I feel like the price is maybe a little bit too big and um, Natasha Denona is known to be more you know expensive brand but still 
still that's that's too much i feel like it's too much but only my opinion okay let's go in i'm going to go in with the bronzer from cash beauty oh my god i've been loving loving this bronzer guys loving this brand and loving the bronzer I've been using this every single day since I got it and I I'm obsessed obsessed with this product buffing it in Then I'm going to go in with Huda Beauty powder. This is the shade Sugar Cookie. It's the white shade. I'll just set. I'm not going to set where I have the blush and bronzer, just where I got oily. I'm also be using this is the nude stick, the eyebrow eyebrow stylus pencil and gel. Oh my god, I bought the gel separately because I love the gel. I'm not really a big fan of this kind of eyebrow product or tip. I love the ones that are more pointier, but you know, it's very good product. It's very pigmented. You go in with a light hand and the shade is a little bit, a little bit warmer than I would like it, but the only thing I'm missing in this product is actually the spoolie because I've been liking go in with the spoolie and just, you know, blend everything like this. This is Jeffree Star. Go with the side where we have the eyebrow gel. Such a good eyebrow gel. One of the best. Really keeps the hair in place. So we are going to go in with a lower lash line. So for the lower lash line, I am going to go in and um, use... Hmm. I want to go in and use a shade that I haven't been using. Viger, I think it's called. Let's go with that. I'm going to use... This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush, a small 42. And I'm going to go in this shade here. This one I haven't used yet, this shade here. That's like a red, deep red shade. I think it's going to look really good on the lower lash line. Oh yes, it does. Really, really good. Fluff your brush something like this and go in with uh, calm this shade here and just blend the edge a little bit so it doesn't look that harsh and this is like a satin finish to this then I'm going to go in with Kaya Cosmetics highlighter in shade Sydney and it's this beautiful shade here love this highlighter And then I'm with my finger, I'm just going to use it here. I got this Cash Beauty's Crystal Light Lip Set and I haven't used all of the shades, so I'm kind of curious to try some of the shades. This more red, yes, let's go with, or should we use a deeper one? So let's go with a deeper shade. Okay, Rebecca Stella number eight. The one from Cash Beauty, I have it in my purse downstairs and I am too lazy to go and take it. I tried to overline my lips a little bit. Maybe I kind of made it worse, made it look stupid, but this is in shade Blood Moon. Oh wow. This looks really nice. So I'm going to go and apply some mascara and lashes.
and I'll be back. Okay guys, so for last half an hour I've been trying to fix my hair and I gave up and I have it in this messy bun or something like that. I'm tired of my hair, <laughs> yeah, to be honest. But okay, this is the final look. I love how everything looks. And I also used, I forgot to tell you and I forgot to film. This is the <sighs> Demi Whispers. Adele Demi Whispers. It's one of my favorite lash. I can wear it when I have my glasses on. It's comfortable. They're perfect for my eyes. I just love them. They look natural, but still look very nice and beautiful. On my waterline, I've used this Pat McGrath Labs uh, Crayon Eye Pencil in Blink Coffee. Love this one. This is really good in my waterline. I don't usually go in for the darker pen because it makes my eyes a little bit small. I like to brighten them up. But something with this, uh, sometimes when I'm going in with dark shades, this kind of like smoky, deep eye look, it looks really nice with my the brown eyeliner with my brown eyes and I feel like it looks really really good. Now the lipstick feels very comfortable. I've been using the the Cash Beauty's lipstick. I just haven't used this set and I've been using the lip gloss and let's go in with the lip gloss on top. Just to show you. I've been loving the lip gloss. The lip gloss is very comfortable. Makes the lips look more plumpier and nice. I've been loving it. It's very comfortable, this lip gloss. It's very comfortable too. So, uh, this is the, all of the products I've been using these couple of days or weeks. Some of them I've been using longer than others, like Natasha Denona's eyeshadow palette I've been using the whole week and I really, really like it. Uh, the others pro other products I've been using a little bit longer than that. The blush too, like a week. And I've been liking the blush. I just feel a little bit too, uh, a little bit too expensive for how much you get the product. I also set my face with this oil control matte setting spray from Catrice. It's a really good setting spray. I'm almost out of it. I don't know if you can see it. On my lashes, I've been using this. Where is the mascara? The Sky High Maybelline Sky High mascara. I can't find it right now. And I like it. I like that mascara, but I do want to go in and use, try this setting powder. This is the blotting powder, not setting powder, from um, Linda Halbers LH Cosmetics. This is a nice puff, so just going to go in a little bit with this powder. I'm not oily, and I have to say the Jack and Hill powders are really, really good. But I just want to see how, oh, oh. Oh my god, it blurred everything. This was sold out very fast. Oh my god, it blurred everything. It made my pores less visible. Oh, I like this. Definitely going with me. I do have the Fenty Beauty's Blotting Powder that I'm I have it in my purse and I've I'm, been I'm using it like for over a year or two and it's it's not a good powder. I don't like that powder, but this looks to be a really good one. I like this so far. It looks very nice and it definitely uh, mattified, but also made my under eye very smooth. My pores less visible, but it doesn't look heavy. That Fenty Beauty's one, it's very hard to get out of the packaging or the pan. It's kind of hard pressed. And it looks heavy on the, my uh, face when I use it. And I don't like that. But this one looks really good. So that's everything. I don't know, guys. Let me know down below if you tried any of this product. Is there any a pro any product new uh, that they use and you like and you, and you want me to try out? Please let me know down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see my next video. And uh, see you soon. Bye.